Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the great features of OneNote is the ability to share content with other users. Many people can be accessing the same notebook, updating information, and adding content with everything saved automatically. Sharing a notebook for use by multiple people involves saving the notebook to a location that can be accessed by others. To invite others outside your local network to share your OneNote notebook, the notebook must be saved on your OneDrive or SharePoint online storage account. To create a new notebook to share, click the File tab in the ribbon to enter the backstage view. Click New in the menu at the left side of the screen. In the New Notebook section, click OneDrive to save the notebook to your OneDrive storage account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can click the Sign Up link that will appear at the right side of the page to sign up for one. Saving the notebook to your OneDrive allows you to access it from any computer with an internet connection, just like all your other OneDrive documents. You can click the Browse button to the right, and then navigate to the OneDrive location and enter a name into the Notebook Name text box. When you're ready, click the Create button. OneNote will then display a message that the notebook has been created. You will also be asked if you would like to invite people to share your notebook. Click the Invite People button to start this process, or click Not Now to skip this step. If you choose to invite people, click the Invite People button to view the Share Notebook section of the Backstage view. The Share with People command will already be selected. Simply type the names or email addresses of the people you want to share your notebook with into the supplied text box. If manually typing in email addresses, separate each address with a semicolon. Any items matching entries in your contact list will be displayed in a list below the box. You can click on their name in this drop-down to add them to the list. To view your address book, you can click the address book icon to the right of the text box. This will open the address book dialog box. Choose which address book to use with the address book drop-down in the upper right corner of this dialog box. You can then select a contact to add from the list and click the To button to add them to the sharing list. When you're finished, you can click the OK button to enter the selected names and close the dialog box. Now you will choose the level of access for the notebook. In the drop-down to the right of the text box, choose Can Edit to allow people to edit your notebook, or choose Can View to share a read-only copy of the notebook. You can include an optional personal message in the large text box labeled Include a Personal Message with the Invitation. The Require User to Sign In Before Accessing Document box will be checked by default. You may uncheck this box to not require users to sign in before accessing your notebook. You can then click the Share button to share your notebook with the people in the invitation list. The people who have been invited to share this notebook will be displayed in the Shared With section at the bottom of the page. You can also share an existing notebook. With the notebook open, Simply click the File tab in the ribbon to enter the Backstage view and then click the Share link in the menu at the left side of the screen. To share a notebook with other people, you must save the notebook on a OneDrive or SharePoint online storage account. Once the notebook has been saved, you can then click the Share with People option, which will send an email with the notebook details for sharing. To do so, enter an email address into the Type Names or Email Addresses field Use the drop-down to the right to select whether the recipient can edit or can view the notebook. Enter a message into the space below. Check the checkbox if you want to require the user to sign in before accessing the notebook. And then simply click the Share button. To create sharing links that you can place on a web page or email to anyone that you want, click the File tab in the ribbon and then choose the Share command. From the list of options that appear to the right, Click the Get a Sharing Link command. You will have two options when creating sharing links. Creating a View Link or creating an Edit Link. A View Link will allow anyone who has the link to view the notebook, but they cannot make any changes. An Edit Link will allow anyone to view and make changes to the document. Click the Create Link button for either or both option to display the link. Copy the link, and then paste it into an email or wherever else you would like to share the link. If you want to disable a link that you have created, once again, simply click the File tab in the ribbon and choose the Share option. Once again, click the Get a Sharing Link to display the options for that command. This time, click the Disable Link button on either link to disable that link. Anyone with a link that has been disabled will no longer be able to access the notebook. 
This is a good habit to get into if you share a notebook with many people outside your organization or if the information is no longer relevant. If you are subscribed to any online meetings that support OneNote sharing, note that you can also click the Share with Meeting command. To the right of the command list, you can click the Share with Meeting button to open a dialog box that displays any online meetings to which you are subscribed. You would simply choose the meeting to share the notebook with, and then click the OK button within the dialog box. Finally, you can also elect to move the notebook to a new location by simply clicking the Move Notebook command that appears under the Share command on the File tab within the Backstage view. This can be a little tricky when it comes to syncing. You can click the Learn How to Move Shared Notebooks link to open a page from Microsoft with instructions on how to properly move the notebook. Now to share a notebook on a local network drive, you would simply create the notebook on a new shared drive. To do this, you click the File tab in the ribbon and then choose the New command. Choose the This PC option and then enter a name into the Notebook Name text box. Then click the Create in a Different Folder hyperlink to open the Create New Notebook dialog box. Navigate to the shared drive to which you want to save the notebook in and then click the Create button. At this point, anyone with access to that local network drive can access the notebook and make changes or additions as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.